Happy New Year! It's New Year's Eve, so not quite New Year yet. I was going to say, not Happy New Year yet. Did I miss it? No, no. <laughs> but we're at my parents' house, and um, Ian is just about to deal out the cards for Dino Dump, which he bought me for Christmas, which mm -hmm. is a Big Potato Games game, and it's really good. And uh, yeah, we're just spending New Year's here with my parents. We are eating after eights, and we haven't even had our brunch yet, um, which my dad is currently cooking. And uh, yeah, we're just having a really nice, easy day. My mum's sister is coming around this evening, and we're just going to watch the fireworks, drink Prosecco, um, that's it really. And then tomorrow we are having a nice roast dinner, and then we'll be heading back home to try and get back into some kind of routine, and tidy the flat. That's a real life. Yes, tidy my desk ready for starting back at getting some stuff done because the flat is a disaster at the moment where we've had Florida trips, we've had Christmas, we've had a year, there is just stuff everywhere and we really need to get on that. We need to have a big spring clean. It's a mess it's spring, yeah. and it's kind of stressing us out so we need to um, get yeah, that sorted. And also I just want to say a huge thank you for all of your lovely comments on the Christmas vlog where we had our time at Orchardly. It was absolutely amazing and we had so many nice comments on that vlog so thank you so much. So this is Dino Dump and it is basically a card game about dinosaurs and poo. Like literally that's what it's about. <laughs> and whoever loses the game is supposed to put on a sticker which is like a dinosaur poop sticker mm. which we discovered actually smell rank yeah not really like poo but they're no, but gross they smelled kind of like sulfur it was gross yeah, like it was nice we i threw them out because they literally <laughs> like the smell was getting on my hands and i was getting very like troubled by it so sorry um big potato but we had to get rid of those stickers they were getting on everything and the smell was like infiltrating <laughs> things around it you guys know i love big potato games i discovered them this year <laughs> through my friend brogan and um, they are just awesome like everything we've played so far from them has been yeah. really good hasn't it oh yeah i don't think we've played a single game from big potato no. that we haven't enjoyed and they're just easy games if you find at christmas and like different times a year if anyone's like oh should we play monopoly or trivial pursuit and everyone's like oh grown yeah. like that's too long it's too boring boring or whatever exactly like these yeah. games even some of the big potato games that do take a bit longer they're still really simple the yeah concepts are always really simple so you can play them with kids you can play with adults who don't like games because yeah. they're really straightforward and they're fun and they're easy to learn yeah um, although Tori did get a bit mad at Dino Dump yesterday. I did because losing. I was losing and I, I, I'm not going to lie I was a sore loser and I got properly <laughs> like annoyed but anyway we're going to try again <laughs> easy that game is it's really good isn't it it's like very quick yeah. as well and uh yeah i won yay <laughs> so we are having brunch which my dad cooked very mm. very nice mm -hmm. ian's got a breakfast sandwich going on which is how he always uh <laughs> Yeah, always eats his breakfast. Mm -hmm. Although it's not really breakfast, it's like half one, two o'clock or something. So brunch is all done, that was really delicious. I meant to uh, redo my lipstick, I'm a bit patchy there, sorry about that. Um, so now we are gonna open our presents. So it's like Christmas day and number two, which is amazing. Thanks for mum. Oh. 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 there. Oh, it looks soft. Exciting. Is it something soft? I have been wanting the <laughs> teddy bear bedding, as they call it, for ages. Oh, is this the really fluffy stuff? Yeah, it's like wintry, cozy mm -hmm. bedding. It keeps selling out everywhere. Oh. And um, this one that we saw is grey, so it matches the bedroom. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. So Ooh, nice. Happy. Chocolate and ice. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a weekend in Birmingham with Tori. No. <laughs> well, I take it you're coming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dad has got tickets to Doncaster races. Oh, lovely. For the Sky Bet Chase. So, playing more Dino Dump. I may be winning. <laughs> Ian we is had not happy. A really close game, didn't we? The most close it's been so far, yeah. We were like both down to our last couple of face down cards. Yeah. That was pretty exciting. That was a good one. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> Later. So time has passed. We've now moved on to um, the wine. Glenda has arrived, but we are playing Uno. You haven't Uno. introduced Glenda, have you? No, I haven't. Glenda's not been in the vlog yet. 
Have Glenda ever been in the vlogs? I don't know. No, probably not. We're just going to have a few rounds of Uno before we leave the table for dinner later. 12 o'clock midnight. So it seems... I completely abandoned the vlog for the rest of the day. It is now just about to be midnight. And someone Ian is... Yeah, someone was shrieking outside. I don't know what's going on. There's quite a few fireworks. Ian's opening the bubbles. Always get scared. Is it midnight yet? Almost. There we go. Hey! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yep. Good morning! Happy New Year! It's the 1st of January 2020. I can hardly believe it. I don't know where the last year went. It's absolutely crazy. Have I got lipstick on my teeth? No, I'm okay. Um, we're still at my parents. We are just about to have an amazing roast dinner. My mum makes amazing roast dinner. And then we will be just going to see Glenda's house. She actually moved from Spain back to the UK um, and she lives around the corner from my parents. So that's really nice. So we're gonna do that and then we'll head back um, home and try and get ourselves organized, ready for working tomorrow. The one thing I really want to do when we get home is just sort out my desk. I need my desk to be clear so that I can think clearly and <laughs> figure out what I'm doing. Um, I know really the main thing I need to get into is editing the Disney vlogs from December which I'm so excited for. I can't wait. So let's go downstairs and see what everyone's doing because I kind of got a plate then I was like messing around looking at fabric and patterns with my mum to figure out which play suits are next on the agenda. So yeah I'm a little bit behind schedule so I better get down there. So lunch is, is being Cooked. Underway. Yes. And Auntie Glenda is washing up. The and um, washer upper in chief. Yes. Auntie Glenda's never been in the vlogs before, so here yes. she is. <laughs> uh, all the way from Spain. Yes. The cats are um Wait. chilling. This is Maverick. Can't remember if he's been in the vlogs before. Flossie definitely has. They're Flossie Flossie was the one who just moved ball. in. Hello. Obviously. We're playing <laughs> Uno. Is it my go? It is. Yes, Ian is um, being somewhat ruthless with Uno. Am I not allowed to play the game by the rules? Yes, but basically this is our our little scorecard on the back of an envelope. Dad is on a roll winning three times. Ian has won five times. I have not won once and I've had some really high ones. So uh, I'm in trouble basically. I cannot win at this point. It depends how long we play again. Depends how long we play. Yes, but we're having lunch soon, so I think I've had it. Hello, we are now on the road. As you can see, my hair is interesting. Not quite sure what's going on today. <laughs> um, yeah, didn't really do anything with it. I just put this elastic in it, that's basically it. What were you doing upstairs for all that time then? Just getting everything <laughs> packed up and just oh, putting okay. my makeup on and right. you know. I appreciate packing. Yes, Ian's there asking, asking questions. I did the packing sorted everything out so we're all good we're on the road and um, it was really nice actually to just spend a few days chilling and seeing my parents um, and my auntie Glenda who you did meet eventually which is good and uh, yeah we popped in to see her new house which was really nice um, but we're on our way back because Ian has work tomorrow uh, yeah I don't well I have to do stuff too when we get back um, I think we're about three hours ish away so it's not too too bad yeah like three hours I want to just clear my desk clear the decks making sure that I am totally ready to begin the lot of editing that I have to do tomorrow but I'm very excited for it I love editing a new vlog series I cannot wait so that's gonna be very exciting is and it bad that I'm more excited to watch it because I was there no that's exciting it's cool to see I feel it, like... I feel like really vain though that I prefer watching the vlogs that I'm in I don't think I don't think it's that it's more like reliving it for me I like think that's right yeah, yeah that's I what love... I should have said and then I would have seen less egotistical <laughs> But yeah, it's nice to relive the, the trip and remember exactly what happened because yeah. you forget it so quick, don't you? Like you the really details do. of what happened. Especially so. in the second half of this trip, it was really yeah. went fast. Yeah, so we'll be able to remember exactly what happened, which is why we love vlogging and um, yeah, doing these Disney videos. Disney in detail, see that's what it is, the detail that you forget is right there in the vlogs. We'll probably stop and get a coffee because it is a reasonably long drive and hopefully we'll be there before we know it. Hello and happy Sunday. It's now the 5th, I want to say, of January, I think. 5th so. think. or 6th? 5th, I think. It's the 5th. Yeah. Um, I took several days off from vlogging. The last thing you probably saw was New Year's Eve. And uh, yeah, we basically just had a few days of getting back, relaxing a little bit. We were away a lot over the festive period. And today is 
tidying day, not a fun day. The tree is about to come down. We're just getting the boxes out to put all the decorations away. Normally I do leave it up till the 6th, which I think is the traditional time to take it down. Uh, but obviously Sunday is a good day to do it. So we're doing that today. And then there's just tons of stuff to pick up around here. You know, presents that haven't had a, you know, home found for them yet and stuff like that. So uh, yes, let's get to it. So Mr. Toad and this one need a nice little wrap up probably in the paper and if there's room and maybe pascal as well six and a half hours later so it is later on now we've had some dinner done a lot of tidying up um ian did an amazing job in the kitchen i will show you that in a second i have been going through clothes finding stuff to donate and some stuff that just is not even really good enough to donate to get rid of or recycle i should say uh, so yes, we've been on a bit of a mission, but it really, really needs doing. I'm just taking a little break, having a little sit down before I start again. And I've just seen how well the vlog is doing over on Disney in Detail, the first travel day vlog for um, our December trip. And it's so amazing, like the comments and the amount of views it's had and just the really lovely positive um, things people have been saying is amazing. So thank you so much if you watch my videos over on that channel as well. It's just really, really nice to have such great Great feedback so also I'm going to show you some of the things that I got for Christmas in this vlog I was going to do it as a separate video but I think I will just show you in this vlog what I got and there was something else I wanted to show you as well oh yes my new wrapping paper storage solution I am very excited about this check this out okay this is my wrapping paper storage let me just show you what it looks like so it kind of rolls up and it has this plastic section. Yes, I have a lot of wrapping paper. <laughs> I basically had some in various different places in the flat. I've got it all together now. And uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of it. So I'll just show you some of the ones I got from Paper Chase this year. So this one is new with the Toy Soldiers. I've got um, a couple of different London ones, the red and blue, and this really cute um, kind of pale blue with the little London buses and Big Ben and stuff. Then I got these ones which have little avocados that look like reindeers. I just thought that was adorable. I got this sloth paper, which is similar to the llama one that I used this year. I got this dinosaur one because my other dinosaur one had run out. And this really nice um, sparkly holographic paper as well. And then I've got all my birthday paper at the end. And then it's got these pockets for all of your gift tags and accessories, ribbons and stuff like that. And then you basically just roll the whole thing up from this end. And then it all ties up together and you can put it under the bed or just somewhere where you've got some storage space. So I'm in love with this. I got it from Amazon. If it's still available, I will link it below. So here is the kitchen looking very spiffy, I must say. So this has all been cleared. Up until now, this was just like a dumping ground for stuff. All my like vitamins were there. Just loads and loads of mess, but that is now fairly clear. And we have some extra space for like cooking and chopping and stuff. And he also gave it a really good clean. We have moved some stuff around in the middle. So we now have the coffee maker here. We've moved the toaster because we hardly ever use it. This is Ian's new coffee grinder I got him for Christmas and then like tea bags and the kettle. So we've got like our tea and coffee making stuff in the middle and there's still room to chop and kind of prep dinner stuff. And I've just done some dishes there. And then we've just like moved the toaster and our coffee beans and stuff down here. It's looking so much better. Ian did a really good job of tidying that. So that's amazing. So we are gonna have a couple of quick rounds of dino dump, taking a break from the tidying. Um, Ian's probably done with the tidying because he did a pretty epic job with the kitchen. I'm just going to play a couple of rounds of this and then I will probably just do a little bit more tidying. There's a lot of things sat out here on the couch and a bit of laundry to be put away. And then we'll probably be done for the evening when it comes to tidying, I think, for today. By the way, we are obsessed with this game from Big Potato. It's so good. Well, the first time I tried it, I got a bit livid because I didn't do very well. <laughs> um, but since then, we've played it a few times and I just love it. It's so quick and easy to play. Yeah. I'm not sure how much like skill there is there's a little bit when it comes to the end i, I think, think you can definitely make mistakes yeah but i'm not very good at like understanding how to play games optimally no me neither i just so. go with it good morning and happy monday my hair has got a mind of its own this morning it's doing like a 
thing don't know what's happening there um if you can hear the washing machine in the background sorry it's quite loud and that uh, today is a day of editing i need to finish this vlog i'm obviously filming today and then i've already edited most of like new year and everything that's happened and um i'm going to show you a few other things i'm doing some tidying i still am not done with that and then kate's coming around this evening and then tomorrow evening we are going to a preview at odeon because we have the limitless thing they have these previews every now and again where you see something a few days early or sometimes like a week early and we are seeing bombshell which looks really good so i'm excited for that but i really just want to get the rest of this place tidied up as you can see there's still like boxes and recycling and all kinds of things going on as you saw the kitchen though is looking amazing so that's really good and i'm just about to tackle getting all of the recycling into one place so that ian can take it as soon as he gets a chance later so it's a little bit later on now i've got some laundry going and done a few other things and i thought i would just show you the things i got for christmas some of it is already kind of in place we got some kind of home things and stuff like that so i'll kind of go around and show you those but i've got a few things here to take a look at so first up we have my pandora bracelet and as you can see there's a lot more charms on it than there was a couple of weeks ago i had loads of really nice ones for christmas i got this little coffee cup one from my parents obviously i love my coffee so that one is adorable i got this suitcase one to kind of represent my love of travel and i had that from ian's parents then ian got me this really beautiful aladdin and jasmine one which is so cute i've kind of decided to just have pink and blue in any of the colors so all of the charms i have there might be the odd exception if i see one i really really like but for the most part i'm going to try and keep to pink and blue then ian also got me this little monkey because i love monkeys and he does have little blue eyes which is so cute and he does have a little tail and i also really wanted this unicorn charm so ian got me that one as well and then at halloween i'd seen this little ghost that i was obsessed with and i must have mentioned it to lisa because she got me the little ghosty so i was really lucky to get all of these lovely charms there's still a few more disney ones i've seen in the disney parks that i'd love to get but this bracelet is shaping up very very nicely and i absolutely love it i'm so glad i decided to start a pandora bracelet sorry for the focus issues there sometimes it's really difficult focusing on little things oh by the way there's some laundry over there for those who may have missed the laundry background the tree is gone we're back to laundry sorry about that but you know reality so this next thing i got is amazing this was a surprise present from ian and if you watched my september disney world vlogs when i went to universal i spent ages going around in diagon alley and hogsmeade looking for this item but it wasn't something that existed there but apparently it does exist yes it is a Skelegro bottle this is actually a water bottle to be fair i probably won't use it as a water bottle i've got loads of different ones and i really wanted it to be like a decorative thing but it's made to look exactly like the one in the movie and i was walking around Diagon Alley saying how cool would it be if you could get a souvenir Skelegro and then ian <laughs> got me this i absolutely love it it's so cool and ian also got me this art of disney renaissance and beyond 1989 to 2014 um collectible disney postcard set which is so cool let me just get some of these out of here and as you can see there are so many in here there's a rapunzel one right on top there and then you've got flounder beauty and the beast this one i love aladdin i won't go through every single one obviously because there are lots of them this is really cool there's like all kinds of different styles look at this one how adorable is that from princess and the frog i love this too i love that little guy on oh, olaf these are so awesome that wasn't even all of them i just quickly flipped through them so i was just putting them all back in and i've picked out three of my favorites i love this one and this one obviously from aladdin which is one of my favorites and my other favorite is little mermaid and this is just adorable so i might keep these ones out and actually pin them up um or uh, i say pin them up i've got a magnet board um at my desk so i think i will do that because i love those and from ian's parents we also got uno extreme which is the version of uno where you kind of press the button and it spits the cards out we play it all the time with ian's parents but we didn't actually have it ourselves so they got that for us and also ian's mum and dad got me a set of christmas socks love these um it's four different pairs so that is awesome and they also got me chocolate red wine apparently they got this at like a christmas market 
market type thing it sounds really interesting so definitely when we try this we will show you in the vlogs what it's like and from ian's grandma and also my parents i got amazon vouchers because i really wanted to get myself a new ring light for filming and i now have it i ordered it from amazon the other day it came really really quickly so when i get this all out to set it up and everything i will show you what it's like but ring lights are much better for doing makeup videos and that's something this year that i want to do more of um, and you really do need some decent lighting i do have some like box lights but they're not quite good enough really for makeup videos so i'm really excited to get this out and try it out and from my parents i also got this duvet cover that i wanted you'll have already seen me opening that i think in the vlog but it's one of these super soft um kind of fleecy ones and you can see the kind of teddy fleece type thing going on underneath. I absolutely love this. I haven't had a chance to change the dark grey pillowcase to the light one that we've got. Um, but yeah, I really love this. And from Ian's parents, I also got this bedside lamp. This is really cool because it has two USB ports on the front. So I can charge my Apple Watch and my phone overnight easily from the base of here. And it's got a little um, pull chain thing. And it also has like a wire switch control as well. So I love this and it kind of matches in with all of our grey so as you can see i was so lucky i got so many nice things and i was really spoiled i did actually order something which i have been wanting ever since i very first saw it i've been back and forth on whether i should get it but i really really desperately want it ian really likes it as well it's arriving today i will show you when it gets here and it's something that we're going to be able to show you the progress of it in the vlogs so i'm being very mysterious there but within a couple of minutes you're going to be finding out what it is but i can't wait for it to get here i am so excited to see it so i'm going to do a bit more editing now and then i have a little more tidying to do so it's all go i've had to put the lights on in here because it's raining so bad it is literally like night times so that is depressing i really wish that in january you would at least have bright skies because it can be depressing enough without this weather on top of everything else but anyway i will catch you up in a bit later okay it's later on now i'm waiting for kate to come round i'm not 100 percent sure she going to make it because she actually said she's um, running late from something else so we'll see if not i'll probably see her later in the week but my thing has arrived from amazon it's here Ta -da! <laughs> it is the friends central perk lego set um i am obsessed with this from the minute i saw it online um it's one of the lego ideas things which basically there's a website you can go to and you can kind of vote for projects that people have suggested that they create as lego so obviously this was one of them this is number 27 of lego ideas that actually came to fruition and got created and when i saw it online a few months ago i was like oh my goodness i need that i love friends so much so ian and i are going to build this and we're going to share the experience of building it with you guys probably in the vlogs over the next like two vlogs probably it won't take us longer than that but i'm very excited you're probably wondering why i'm this excited about it but i really am obsessed with friends and here are the um figures that you get obviously all the friends and gunther and i've seen some people who have built this you can actually get lights that people kind of put around it is just amazing and I cannot wait to get started on this. So it's a bit later on again. I have my planner and everything here just to do some long-term planning for videos and stuff like that. I'm just making dinner and Kate is coming round next week because what she was doing is just taking a bit longer than she thought. And I totally forgot, I did do a grocery haul the other day, even though I wasn't vlogging for those few days that we got home. I actually got my groceries this time from Asda. We very briefly went into our local one, which I have not been in for years. It's not very close to our flat. So if we ever actually go into a supermarket, we go to Morrison's, which is our local one. And um, it was really good in there. They had some really good stuff. So I decided to do our weekly shop from them and i did vlog a quick grocery haul so i will insert that now okay here is our grocery haul i'm not vlogging today but i am vlogging the haul so that you guys can just see what we got because we've gone for asda for a change it was significantly cheaper than Ocado and even cheaper than morrison's that i normally go for so we are going to see whether we like everything so let me show you what we got i got this low sugar granola and it's strawberry blueberry and almond and that's to go on my yogurt so we'll see what that's like I'm doing this quick because I do have some frozen stuff. 
stuff here. I have these spotty lollies, which are basically the same as knobbly bobblies, but they're the Asda brand, but they're way cheaper. They're just one pound. Then I got some mandarin segments. I love mandarins out of a can. I don't know why I always have done. They are just so good, but most of them have the white stuff kind of still stuck on them, but the Asda ones I've noticed in the past generally don't. So we'll see what those are like. Then I have onions. I'm very excited about these plant-based meat-free chicken bites. It's basically like popcorn chicken, but it's um, meat-free. So I will let you know what those are like. Then I have 1% milk. I have my mango chamomile fused tea, which I am obsessed with, as you know, just kitchen towel and toilet roll. Then the cheese I ordered, I think I ordered the lighter cheese, but they substituted just for the regular one, but that's fine, that's not a problem. Then I've got vine tomatoes, biscuit brew, of course, and I've got some sweet corn, just the smaller ones, because those are really handy, just for throwing into anything really, stir fries, risottos, um, loads of different things. I've got Ian's celery, which when he is being healthy, he has with hot sauce for his lunch, and also carrot sticks. But I've already got carrots. I got some parsnips because Ian loves those. Some peppers for fajitas. I got these Eat Real Veggie Straws. I've had stuff from this brand before and it's really nice. And they're obviously healthier than eating crisps. Um, they're kale, tomato and spinach. They are reduced salt, no added sugar, gluten-free, vegan. So I'll see how those are. I have leeks to go into pasta dishes and also into risottos. Um, I just got a little thing of baked beans. I haven't had baked beans forever. I very rarely have them, but I do absolutely love them. So I just got those in case I need them to go with a quick dinner. I've got cucumber, which I often have at lunchtime. Lighter spread, Pepsi Max. I got these um, mini wraps just because those can be handy for lunches. I got the barbecue popped chips for Ian. I did get some shredded lettuce that's already cut up. It's a little bit lazy and I do kind of worry about the plastic, but then I thought about the lettuce when it comes like as a whole lettuce, it's still in plastic, so it doesn't really make any difference. I have grated cheese, again, that is super lazy, um, but I don't know where my grater is at the moment. <laughs> so I've got that. I have my Muller quark yogurt. I'm still obsessed with this, especially the vanilla one. And that's what I put my granola on top of. I've got my Laughing Cow lighter cheese. I just love that with crackers. I got some of the um, rooster potatoes, the red ones. We used to have these every week and we haven't had them for ages. So I got those. And also some of the Muller Greek style whipped yogurt. It's a little bit less healthy than the Quark yogurt, but I do absolutely love it. So I got that as well. Oh, and Ian's sparkling water because he likes fizzy water, not still. So that is everything I got. Um, like I said, it was a lot cheaper than it usually is with Morrison's Nicardo. So I will see how I get on this week and perhaps switch over to Asda because one of the things I wanted to do for this year is to try and spend less on groceries because I do feel like we sometimes spend a little more than necessary. I'm really happy with this, all the vegetables look fresh and the guy who delivered it was super nice, really helpful, um, so that was really good too. And I think I'm probably gonna leave the vlog here because I need to get it finished, get it edited to go up tomorrow. It's probably not that long, but I'm just getting back into the swing of weekly vlogging and there's plenty of stuff coming up. I've done some tidying over the last couple of days. I'm feeling really good about that because it honestly was such a disaster. There still is a little bit more to go, but hopefully soon we will have everything straightened out and sorted because um, I hate it when it's a crazy mess. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Don't don't forget to subscribe and also subscribe over on Disney in detail. We've got tons of vlogs coming your way um, with the trip that we've just been on. And um, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, um, which is Victoria in detail. And I really want to start using that more this year. I can be a bit MIA on that Instagram account and I'm determined not to be. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.